Jeans. Oh god, she's not used to wearing jeans. Holy echo, Batman. We've been really busy with the house and moving and getting things set up and now we're working on our studio, which I'm very excited to show you soon. In turn, we haven't been able to go on a lot of adventures and we haven't been out exploring a lot and I haven't been shooting a lot of photos. So I'm kind of like out of photos to post on Instagram. So I've been kind of doing just like little setups here and there, little vignettes, pulling things out and just like shooting. Some of you guys were asking to see the behind the scenes of my last Instagram photo, which was this one. Instead of showing you the behind the scenes, I'm just gonna like talk about how to style an Instagram photo. So let's cue the intro and then get into it. So I've just been kind of shooting photos around the house and just kind of like making up shit to post on Instagram. We're gonna shoot a bunch of different stuff today. Then we're gonna have a little challenge, which pumped about challenge. I don't think we've had a challenge on this YouTube channel yet. We've definitely been doing a lot over in the pixel and lens group. So if you guys aren't there, uh, link it in the description box. I don't think I can link it up here. I probably should have eaten something before I did this. We're gonna do three different setups today and I'm just going to shop my own house. I talk about this a lot for like interior design. If you're, you know, designing a room or you're changing things up to shop your own belongings. So, you know, go into a different room, think about things a little bit differently and then move it and set it up differently. We're gonna do a flat lay, which is what I posted on Instagram the other day. We're gonna do like a vignette or like a styled corner of a room. And then we're gonna do more of like a product shot type thing. I'm gonna go shop my house. We're gonna go find a couple of things to shoot. I have no idea what we're gonna shoot. We're gonna make it up as we go, guys, let's do it. So I'm in my living room here. I'm thinking I'll probably do this chair area with this plant. Let's go with a pillow grab a blanket because I love a good blanket. All right, let's see what else we could find. You guys have been asking for a house tour. Maybe we'll do a uh, pre-renovation home tour. All my old cameras are in here. I'm gonna grab one of those. As you can see, we haven't really started the office yet. Shit everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna take this camera, maybe this camera, and this case because I like the look of the case. So we'll take these. And we'll take you. I will not throw these on the floor like I did with the pillow. Let's do a coffee shot as well because obviously you can't do photos for Instagram without a coffee shot. I'm gonna rob this face. And we'll use this pan as kind of like a background for the coffee shot. Everyone has a pan. If you do any amount of cooking, even if you take shit out of your freezer and throw it on a tray and put it in the oven, you got a tray like this. So use it as a background. I need a glass. I'm gonna grab this. All right, let's 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 work with that. So we can add stuff as we go and go back and find things as we go. First, let's start with the flat light. So I usually shoot handheld. I don't, I didn't have an overhead rig until recently. Promaster actually sent me a tripod that's kind of modular. It has kind of like an overhead rig, but I'm gonna talk about that in a different video because I wanna do a full video on overhead rigs because I have an idea. I'm gonna use this hutch here as just like a background. In terms of like where you're shooting, use like your table, your countertop. Don't forget about floors. Oh my God, there's so many cool floors. Like your garage floor, concrete, deadly. And especially if it's like stained and dirty, that can make a lot of character too for a cool shot. Tile floor, uh, old boards that you might have downstairs, a piece of wood, cutting board or a pan. And I'm looking at my deck and actually my deck might make a really cool backdrop as well. So let's start with the first one. So this one's gonna be the flat lay. Okay, wait. Before before we start, we need to talk about lenses real quick. You can use any lens, but I really like shooting vignettes with the 50 1.2. Super shallow depth of field. It's not too wide. It's not too telephoto. I just really like the look that that lens gives for these types of shots. But we'll break out that lens and we'll also bring the 24 to 70 2.8. If you guys are just getting into photography and looking for like an all around good versatile lens, the 24 to 70 2.8 is awesome. We're gonna shoot these photos today on my Canon 5D Mark III because I just really like shooting with that camera. I like shooting photos with the camera. I like being able to look out the lens and see what I'm shooting versus like a digital picture of it in my viewfinder. Videos with the a7s, photos with the Canon. All right, I'm gonna grab these lenses and we'll get to it. So this little sheet that was inside the camera make like kind of a cool background. So I'm just gonna kind of stick it underneath there and just make some layers. What? What? It's snowing outside. What? 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 Okay, I'm gonna start with the 50. It's gonna be a fairly tight shot. I should probably get a card. <gasps> so I'm just shooting a bunch of different ways. I'm kind of turning my camera, changing the aperture. Shooting at 1.2 or 1.8 is really awesome, but 
when you have things in your flat lie that are different depths, like this camera kind of comes up higher than what the paper is, shooting at 1.8, not all of those things are gonna be in focus. You're just gonna kind of get the lens in focus or the background. So just keep that in mind if you're shooting, if you want everything in focus, be sure to close down your aperture so that you get more depth of field. Now, if you're shooting for Instagram, you wanna shoot portrait style. So I just shot a couple of landscape ones to show you guys in this video, but I'm gonna slightly change the setup for portraits for Instagram. Or you can do the panorama trick that I taught you guys a couple of videos ago. I'll link it up here if you wanna check it out. Whatever you set up first does not have to be what you end up with in the end. So just play around with it, get creative, experiment with things, and just have fun, man. Okay, so next we're gonna style this little corner here, and you literally don't have to have like really nice shit to do this. Just pick out some things that like look pretty, that are in your style, different textures, different colors, different fabrics. So I've got the gray rocker here. I plant in the background, shop your own belongings. Pick shit in your house so you don't have to spend money. We're gonna just throw a blanket, a pillow, kind of angle it up. This one is super easy. You just have to clean one corner of your house and the rest can be super dusty. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, so the same works. You could do the corner of your couch, an end table. You can do a little flat line on your end table. The opportunities are endless. So let's do this one. The echo, oh my God, the echo. Pull this back. It's all about angles. You wanna make sure that things aren't just like straight on. Well, I mean, you could shoot straight on if you want to. Sometimes I like it. Like this shot that I took of my bench, straight on works. But for this, we wanna see the lines of the rocker. The blanket and a pillow make a world of difference. I always fluff my pillows like that. So I always step back and look just to make sure everything is okay. I have no idea if this is even in focus. It's hard shooting a video alone. That's simple. Literally a blanket and a pillow. Let's shoot a photo. All right, so we're rocking a pretty dark room here. So again, I'm gonna go with the 50. The phone is buzzing my arsehole. Also a really like dirty frame, throwing a little leaf kind of in the foreground to give some like kind of interesting something in the foreground work. So shoot through stuff. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna shoot here is on my kitchen floor because I like the light in here. We got some skylights. The floor is not very pretty, but we're gonna set up that cutting board and that pan. This type of shot here works really good for like product photography, food photography, really anything. Super simple. I'm gonna set my camera up on a tripod and I'm gonna use the remote because I wanna get cream pouring into the iced coffee that I'm gonna make. I wanna capture that because I only wanna do it once. And we'll see what it turns out like. Okay, I had to prop it up because I couldn't see my screen. My 5D doesn't have a flip up screen. I have the thing set up and the camera set up. Let's make the coffee. <laughs> I just threw some ice there, the coffee thing that's leaking. Old pan, baking sheet. So then I got my camera on this tripod and I got the remote timer on it, just shooting continuously so I can pour the cream and get the shot. Cause sometimes it's hard to get those shots by yourself. Up here I got the RX100 shooting second camera. We'll use this, we'll use this tea towel, this cork board, my book. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you guys. That's kind of a couple of different ways I like to shoot photos for Instagram. You can really use any of these techniques for your client shoots. If you wanna shoot stock photography, it's great. Just remember to remove logos. If you say you don't have anything to shoot, that's bullshit, I'm calling you, calling you out. I'm calling you out right now because if you have a magazine at your house or you have a floor at your house and you have a camera, phone, I don't know, plant, you can shoot photos for Instagram. I wanna offer up a little styling challenge. I wanna challenge you guys to style your own photos. So whether it's a flat lay, it's a corner of your house, it's a coffee being poured, anything. It doesn't have to be any of those things either. It could be anything that you want. I challenge you to style something, shoot it, and then share it with hashtag BC styling challenge. I'll be posting this challenge also in the Pixel Online's Facebook group. So if you are a part of that group, great. If not, and you wanna join, I'll leave the link in the description box below. It's basically a photo slash video club that Chris and I started to kind of help the community learn and just basically create a space for photographers and videographers to come on of all levels and kind of help each other out, get advice, share knowledge, uh, and then just also share photos and participate in challenges and assignments and things. So uh, this is our first YouTube photography challenge so BC styling challenge use the hashtag share we will pick our favorites and maybe we'll share them on the next video but we'll definitely share a couple in the pixel lens uh, Instagram account I highly encourage you to use the hashtag because that's where I'm gonna be looking to find these photos the weather is just starting to get good but it's still kind of like muddy and 
brown outside. It's kind of gross out. Shop your house, shop your belongings, or even go to your friend's house if you're sick of all your stuff and pick a few things off their shelf and style it up. Can't wait to see what you guys do. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy whirlwind of a video. I have no idea what I filmed. So now I have to go back and edit this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We will see you on the next one. I'm so awkward. <laughs> Bye. Oh, now I gotta put away all this stuff. Oh, that's like the worst part. I don't wanna clean up. Mom! Yes, my hair is a different color. I, I don't know what this color is. It's like blackish, purplish, bluish, question mark. I change my hair color all the time. I just made a big juicy order from B&H for this room. Very, very excited. I think I'm gonna go get some paint now, actually.